You might have noticed if you've been watching our YouTube channel for a while that there's been a sudden influx of videos. And that's because I'm really focusing on YouTube as a method of supporting our shop and our stencils and kind of sharing a little bit of inspiration of what I do in my journal. If you haven't seen us before, I'm Jo, I'm the founder of Oopsie Daisy, and we are a small business based in the UK that focuses on journaling supplies and tools, especially our hero product, the journal stencil. So today I'm going to create a little YouTube tracker in my brand new journal setup and I'm using our classic TV stencil first of all and on that stencil there is a whole range of different TV shapes, they're kind of retro themed and what I'm doing is stacking those up in the corner of the journal spread, kind of topsy-turvy as if they're sat on top of each other. The good thing with the new style classic stencil is that they're made from our clear cut material, which means that you can see through them and position the items exactly where you want them on the page. So I'm just tracing around each of those TVs. I haven't done the aerials on the lower TVs. I'm going to add those on afterwards. And now I've done the shapes, I'm placing the centers to the screens and the buttons of the TVs inside the kind of main box. We've got three different TV shapes and three different middles and you can mix and match them, they all fit each other so that you've got slightly different looking TVs stacked on top of each other. The aim of this spread is so that I can track our YouTube subscribers. So once I've created the little um, decoration in the corner, I'm going to be using our Polaroid stencil to add some numbers across the page that I can color in as we kind of reach those viewer figures. So I'm just finishing off the TVs now by adding the aerials in slightly jaunty positions. The pen I'm using with my stencils is my go-to pen, which is a Pigma Micron 04, and I find it works really well with the stencils so that I can add in the finer details if I want to. So once I've completed the kind of decoration in the corner, I'm going to add a header. I'm using our Blossom font stencil, which is the font that I've used all the way through the beginning of this brand new journal. If you'd like to see the other setup videos from the journal, if you go to the playlist, which I'll link in the top of the video, um, you'll be able to see me set up the whole journal, the future logs, our monthly spreads, everything for this whole journal setup. And this is just part of the beginning of my new journal. So the title I'm adding to the spread is As Seen on TV, which I thought would work really nicely for a YouTube tracker. And as I'm drawing the fonts, I'm just adding in the middles of the letters on the bottom of all of our font stencils across the bottom. You'll find the centers of the letters so that you can get them looking exactly as they are designed to look. Um, and I'm using the uppercase and lowercase blossom font stencil to do this. So YouTube as a channel we have had with Ipsa Daisy for a few years now, but it's not been a major focus for me or for the company just because it's quite time intensive, but I really feel like it's the best medium in order to show how to use the stencils really well um, and in detail and how to kind of answer questions that we asked all the time around the stencils. Um, by creating videos, it allows them to be seen as they are supposed to be used. It's quite difficult to show that in a 2D image. It's also quite difficult because the stencils are clear, so it's much more difficult to show how to use them without movement. So yeah, our YouTube channel is definitely a focus for me and trying to be really consistent with it. So if you are watching our videos and liking them and are not yet subscribed, I would love if you would click the subscribe button just so that I can color in another box on my tracker, but also so that you see the upcoming content that we've got. We've got, we're trying to do at least one video a week at the moment. Um, I think throughout June, we've got a couple of videos every week. It's a huge amount of work on top of kind of running a business, um, but it is, as I say, the, the best medium we have to reach customers and provide the support that we want to provide with our products. So I'm using our Polaroid Classic Stencil. This is actually a spread that I used to do quite a lot. Um, the good thing with the Polaroid stencil is that the boxes are all lined up. So we've got a row of the outer shapes to the Polaroid and then below those a row of the inner shapes to the Polaroid. So if you do a whole row of the outer shapes, you can just move the stencil up so that the, the middles overlie and then fill the middles in. 
I am trying to do, I think, 40 boxes on this page. So I'm just counting up and kind of fitting them in where I can do. But you see that I will go in and now fill in the inside box. So that's where the picture would be in the Polaroid. And the bit at the bottom is where you would kind of write on the Polaroid. And then inside each of those Polaroids, I'm going to add a subscriber number, starting at where we're at now and going up to our target, which is to get to 2000 subscribers. And then every time we get 10 subscribers, I'll be able to color in one of those Polaroids and show that we're moving closer towards our target. So please, please, please click subscribe because I like ticking off boxes on my trackers. It makes me feel like I'm getting somewhere. Um, so I'd really appreciate it if you just give us that little click. So this is actually my second journal of 2023. This year I converted over to a B5 size journal and I'm finding that they're lasting a lot longer. But when I set up this journal, I kind of made the commitment that I was only going to include spreads that I thought I was actually going to use. So I've cut down all the trackers, anything that basically I'd spend a long time setting up and then wouldn't actually go back to after I've done it. And this is, one of the only trackers I have in the beginning of the journal because YouTube is such a focus for us. So if you want to watch the setup for this journal, I have created a whole YouTube video where I show how I decide what pages go and in what order. And also in our monthly spread, I've cut out weekly spreads completely and I've gone back to rapid logging. So I very much want to kind of pare down this journal into the essentials and getting back into the routine of really using it rather than just creating a lot of elaborate spreads that I don't go back to. So I'm going to do reviews every month because I felt like having that process, that ongoing process is really important. So I'm gonna do my monthly spread, do my setup, and at the end of that month, flip back through, see what I've used, what I haven't used, and adjust the following month based on that process rather than blindly just repeating what I'm doing and not really learning anything from it. So back to the YouTube tracker, I'm just adding in now the targets for, is I've broken it down into tens basically. So um, up to 2000 viewers and then going backwards from there to where I'm at at the moment. And I'm adding in little kind of bows to tie the Polaroids to string across the spread. So it's kind of like I've got Polaroids hanging on a washing line almost, which is a bit random, but I quite like the look of this. And once it's all colored in, it's gonna look fab. The heading, I'm going to color in uh, block black because that's what I've done throughout the whole of the beginning of this journal. So all of my headers for this journal are in blossom font, colored in block black. Um, and I'm kind of finding that it's holding the whole beginning of the journal together. So although I've got different things going on, like this is TV themed and I've got um, a shark themed health tracker, having that same font throughout it all kind of makes it cohesive. So while I'm coloring in my header, I'd really like to pose a few questions to you. As I said, YouTube is something that we're really focusing on at the moment and creating more content. We have two live streams a month, one by myself and the other by Kate, AKA Snell Scribbles, who is the designer for Oops Daisy. And on top of that, we're recording pre-edited videos like this one. And I'd love if you'd add in the comments what you would like to see from the Oops Daisy YouTube channel. Would you like to see more reviewing and processes? Would you like to see more journal setups? Or perhaps you want to see Q and A's from us. If you have any questions that you'd like answered, happy to do little videos and put together um, how to's or answer your kind of journaling queries. If you have any, please pop them in the comments below. Requests, um, stencils that you'd like to see use or products. And I will do my best to focus some videos next month on on whatever you guys want to see really. Would you like to see some behind the scenes stuff at Oopsie Daisy? Perhaps you would like to come along with us to Planifest, which is in the beginning of July. All of that can be done, but I have to kind of pick and choose because there is only so much time. So yeah, give us a shout, let us know what you want to see and we will do our best. If you don't want to write it, publicly in the comments, feel free to drop us a DM or an email on any of our social media channels. We are on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. 
And we also have a really, really friendly Facebook group called the Bullet Journal Squad, which you are more than welcome to come over and join. Just pop in a request so that you're going to abide by the rules and we will let you in and you can pose any questions in there and it is a private Facebook group. So I probably could have left the spread there, but there was a little gap at the bottom of the page, which was kind of bugging me. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more text using the Blossom font stencil. And once that's done, I'm just gonna add some color to those TVs so that they stand out on the page. I'm gonna color the, the wording at the bottom of the page into a block black. And that's about it for this spread. It's simple but it works in terms of a tracker and for any kind of trackers the one thing I find is that especially for things like this your numbers can always go down as they as much as they can go up so I'll be coloring in those Polaroids when I hit that number and then if they drop off again afterwards obviously you can't remove the color that you've added i'll just have to wait until i get to the next milestone before i color the next one in so it's not like a graph where you can show the ups and downs i'm basically just logging when i've hit that subscriber number i hope that makes sense so to color in these tvs i'm just adding in the little youtube symbols in the screens of the tv um, which i'm using our social media stencil for I'm going to use coloured pencils, which I'm really liking again at the beginning of this journal. Normally I use brush pens, but I'm having a bit of a, a resurgence with things that I used to use a long time ago. So things like the social media stencil, the Polaroid stencil, and my coloured pencils are coming back out into my journaling kit and I'm using them all the time. So I'm just colouring in the, the bottom title, as I said, using um, a blop black colour and then I'm gonna grab my colored pencils. It's nice to experiment with different coloring media. Sometimes I just leave my spreads black and white um, and I find that that's a, a real look or I use things like scrapbook paper and um, washi tape to, to add the color. Um, but yeah, when I'm coloring things in, I found recently if I'm coloring with felt tip pens that the fact that the color's not even kind of bugs me. So using a colour pencil means that you've got more ability to kind of layer up that colour. For day-to-day -day journaling, when I'm taking my journal out and about with me or to work with me, I really only take my Pigma Micron pen, a single highlighter colour, so it's normally a Koi brush pen, sometimes a Tombow, sometimes a mild liner that works with that month's spread because I like to use colour to mark off the things on my to-do list, helps me to visually see how I'm progressing through the list. And sometimes I could take a color pencil, but other than that, I'm really just like a two pen girl <laughs> from day to day. And I leave all of my kit at home on my desk when I'm doing spread set up. If I'm relying on having too much stuff out and about with me, it just makes me not want to use my journal. So I try to keep it simple when I'm using it for productivity, which is what my journal is basically for that's when I've got my pen, my highlighter, and I tend to have a stencil that's got a checkbox in it. At the moment, I'm using the Snell Scribbles um, week on a page because it's got boxes and it's got checkboxes. And I take my whatever the font is for that month. So I have three stencils, upper, lowercase, and um, a stencil with a checkbox, and then my pen and my highlighter. That is my on-the-go journaling kit. Right now you're seeing me use my colouring pencils and the brand that I've got are actually WH Smith's colour pencils. I've had them for absolute years. They're in a really old roll-out holder which allows you to see all the colours. Um, yeah, I've had these absolute donkey shears. And fun fact, I used to work for WH Smith's. It was my first job um, after completing my GCSEs. I was a Saturday girl. Um, for a number of years while I went through university. It's probably my dream job and what led me to be obsessed with stationery. Nothing more fun than getting all of the new stationery delivery in and seeing the new ranges come in. Um, so these, these colour pencils are from way back in the day. I've probably had them <laughs> for like 20 years. And I'm using quite retro colours. So I've chosen greys, reds and browns because 
Red is the color for YouTube and then grays and browns are kind of those retro TV colors. I'm thinking those kind of like big chunky 60s TVs. That's the look that I'm going for. And I'm just doing variations. So some of the TVs will have a brown outside with a gray screen. Some of them will have a gray outside and the whole screen will be red. Um, I'm gonna color all the buttons block black so that they stand out. Um, yeah, that's the, the whole look of this spread. And if you are enjoying the retro TVs, you will be excited to know that we do have a movie night theme and range launching, hopefully going to be August, just waiting for the washi tapes to arrive. And we will have three different washi tapes. We've got a TV washi tape, we've got a popcorn washi tape, and we have a film strip washi tape. They're all quite retro. Um, this kind of vibe with them and they all work really nicely together. We'll have some A4 sticker sheets to go alongside that. So if you like to include TV or film trackers in your journal, then it's definitely going to be a range for you. It's something that I've wanted to do basically since the beginning of Ipsodaisy and for one reason or another, it's got put off each year and kind of just missed the opportunity to do it. Almost did it as a subscription box a couple of times, but decided that film and, and TV isn't for everybody. So it's not a universal enough theme for a quarterly subscription box. So we're doing it as a standalone range that will be permanently joining um, the Oops a Daisy web shop. And I'm really excited for it to arrive so that I can include lots of TV stuff in my journal. At the moment, I'm watching The West Wing for my third time. I love that TV series. It's, probably my favorite tv series ever bold statement um so being able to include spreads for that in the journal is going to be amazing i'm really excited for this stuff to turn up um so yeah definitely keep an eye out on our channel watch us uh, give us a follow on social media if you're interested to see more of that um i'm really excited to add it to this shop so finally i said if there's one thing we do in 2023 it needs to be the film and tv trackers and we're we're gonna fit it in this summer before we head into all the Christmas planning stuff, which believe it or not is about to start, even though it is the summer and it's scorching hot outside. So I'm nearly finished with my coloring and you can kind of see where this spread is going now. I like how it's looking. Um, the Annoyingly, I've got my, my black outlines of have broken in the room where I do the filming so you are getting a bit of glare from the window because it was quite a sunny day um I am going to get replacement black outline so I can control the light a bit better and you'll get a sharper image but hopefully you can all see what you're looking at and it's not too awful um yeah I am trying ev with every video to improve the quality of the videoing making sure the light's right making sure it's focused correctly um it's always a challenge and it's a definite learning curve for me, but hopefully if you've been watching enough of our videos, you will see an improvement as we go on. Um, also using different editing software, which is new for me, adding voiceovers afterwards like this, which is new to me, um, and trying to get my Mac to cooperate with the whole process has been new for me, but we're nearly done and it's time to take a look at the final spread. So this is the finished spread. I've created a tracker to track how many subscribers we have on our YouTube channel. Each one of these little Polaroids is worth 10 subscribers. So I'll color those in as I move towards a target of 2000, which is my current target. Love it if you'd give us a subscribe so I can color in a, uh, a box on the tracker. I've gone for kind of like an old school media um, I've got my TVs all stacked up and then I've used Polaroids as the elements to track and then I've said as seen on TV Should be in brackets or YouTube. Um, I like how this has turned out. I think it's a really cute spread um, And I think it'll be very usable. Hopefully I'll be able to color some elements off as we grow on the YouTube channel Thank you for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this little plan with me and please 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 hit subscribe so that I can colour in some elements on my tracker. Take care, bye bye bye!